Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. We're in the tunnels, which is always great. And uh, trying to be optimistic, we do have a bunch of uh, weapon upgrades, some new stuff to try, so that's cool. Uh, we're taking out Angerbot here with the K90. She's got this Skulljack for the Codex. Uh, she's got some repairs for Toaster. Uh, and hopefully can um, hack and download this stuff that we need at range. That would be beautiful. Uh, we've got Bumblebee here. Now we've got the Disruptor Rifle, so guaranteed crits on psionic enemies. We have some mind control stuff, marionette control, some soul merge action. Which is super cool to see. Uh, Serenity is here. Now, we've graded her. She's got the Solace PCS, a mind... Uh, we, oh, we were originally were taking a mind shield, but then gave the Solace PCS instead. Uh, she's got the uh, Panacea, which heals an ally's body and mind with psionic power. I don't know how strong that is. Maybe we'll see. Also has a Domination. Also has Marionette Control. And a Phase Walk that can maybe help reposition. Now... She's got this Psionic Reaper. Very interested to see how this goes. Uh, this is... I guess the ammo is based on your Psy Offense score from reading the description of the weapon. It's got a lot of ammo. Um, has increased aim. A repeater. And a stock for missed damage. Now, this is... <laughs> I mean, if we get a repeater kill, I'll be happy. That's insane. Because uh, you can't change this. It's just built into the gun. So... You guys remember repeaters? Fun times. Fun times. We've got uh, Pool Mother here. She's got the blue screen rounds. And I feel like I could just give these to people right now while we're waiting. And then uh, we've got uh, Elsa Dynamite Koenig here. Let's check out hers. Does she have... She's got the Viper rounds, right? Yeah. She's got the Viper rounds in the Hunter... Uh, Dark Lance. And then, of course, we have Toaster with the Solar Flare. Uh, I brought him with the blue screen canisters because of the enemies that we saw on the list. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully this works out for us. Um, yeah. So, first things first, let's go and do this. We'll put the blue screens into Angerbot as well. And let's get into the trivia. Trivia. As of ep end of episode 72, which class has the most mission appearances without losing any members? A, tech specialist, B, keeper, C, marksman, or D, reapers? Let me know what you guys think. La, uh, eh, uh, log. That's <laughs> the word I was looking for. Today's log comes from Fleet Admiral J again, writing for Zwinzel. It's pretty funny. I'm ashamed. I went out on the biggest mission of my life and I laid a huge egg. 11 of 22 shooting? And many of those were easy shots. Only six kills? Even our tag-along medic got more kills than that. What the F was that performance? Somehow the commander still saw fit for me to get promoted. I guess because pretty much everyone who went out on that mission got promoted. Still wondering if someone approved it for me by mistake, and it was meant for Barnaby. I guess I know where I'll be spending the next little while. The shooting range. Yeah, um, not a bad idea. Okay, so... 13 turns to get that far. Um, good news. Uh, good news and bad news here. The way I see it. Um, having a larger map means maybe we can take some fights uh, with a little bit more control. Uh, that's a little risky, isn't it? I'm going to put Toaster up here. That looks fine. Um, timer won't start until we reveal. Oh Let's gosh. do this. That seems fine. In before we get flanked from the other side. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I have, I have kind of a tendency towards um, Got it. sides of the map sometimes. Put Bumblebee oh, here, and then Serenity. Does Phase Walk break? Oh, it doesn't. That's kind of cool. Just Phase Walker right there if I wanted to. What's the cooldown? Three turns. Um. 
you know what? Let's do it. This way we have, um, uh, if, if we find enemies this turn, then we have uh, all our actions available and we don't have to reposition with phase walk later. And pretty much as soon as I find an enemy here, I think I want to fight it, try to clear a pod or two. Oh, boom. Hello. Now, uh, okay. I did call for a flank. That chrysalid, uh, probably just gonna stay there, I would think. Just got a flash of enemies there. Oh, that's the chrysalid. Fair enough. Okay, one of the things we've been wanting to look at is this, uh, marionette control. 49%? That's it? So, Psy offense of 109, and then the base chance of plus 50. That is not very good. That is not very good. However, uh, some dominations here might be worthwhile. I do think that, um, probably don't need to do that, though. We can probably just kill this group. Solidly. At least I hope we can. Uh, we'll get into cover here. Bumblebee. Let's actually keep you there for now. And because we have blue screens everywhere, this is kind of nice. 12 to 14 on the mech. Now, I guess one thing to consider that we're used to our Marines doing is, uh, why is she out of actions? Oh, interesting. Hold on. <laughs> uh, oh, is this just because she doesn't have... Hold on. I think this doesn't count as, like, the type of uh, gun for these guys where we can shoot twice. Which is very interesting. That changes things a little bit. Yes, it does. Okay, so dynamite with raptor's perch. We pick this up. Probably didn't even need to do it that way, but it's fine. Got that poison there. Beautiful. He's down to one, so I'm going to assume that he's going to die. And then we go on the hunter, I think. Get the disorient going there. Um, he is in full cover. I hope it's worth it. 45, we could zap him, I suppose. Uh, another thing I guess we could do is soul merge somebody for this, but. I'm looking for a spot where she can maybe see that hunter. I guess that'll be okay. They've got eyes on me. Really low chances. All right, let's take the uh, let's take the forty-five. He will get a retaliation punch, but it won't be enough to kill. We'll take a twenty-five. All right, fair enough. 
and then we'll overwatch here. Oh, chrysalids awake. Okay, so now we're in the don't waste time mode. Raptors perch, see you later. Okay. Proceeding to target. This will probably proc the uh, chrysalid that was over here, or not. Yes. All right, I'll go. If you say so. Uh, let's put Zaya here. Roger that. Got some advent here. Whoa, why is she seeing that? Very interesting. And then Pool Mother. Uh, we could resupply Dynamite here. It's an option. But I kind of like having those poison rounds. Let's go. Do this. We'll resupply Serenity. So I have to... Yeah, we'll have to make adjustments for this... Um, for this gun, I guess, and we'll have to weigh out if that's beneficial enough or not, because having the extra ammo is fine, like, it's really good for um, our zone suppression, but outside of that, not having the, the multiple shots is a little uh, worrying. And I feel like Dynamite staying back here probably not going to add a lot of value. We should probably get her moving. And then maybe we can uh, grapple up to there on the next turn. Overwatch protocol engaged. Affirmative. Covering now. So we've taken out three enemies. That's a start. That's a start. Okay. Shooting over top of this might be challenging. We're actually are very close to the objective, a lot closer than I anticipated. Okay. Is that going to trigger the chrysalid? I feel like we saw it go right over here, didn't we? How far do we push this? Let's go here. We're gonna find something. Oh, yep. We're finding a lot. I wonder if that group is worth just blowing up. With the, uh... Oh, that was a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Do all of these guys have counterattack? Not the Harrier. Ballisterius, yes. Mech, no. Shield bearer, no. Okay. If I go here, it looks like it's hitting everyone. Actually, that's a lie. It's not hitting the Decurion. Oh, the Decurion is immune, isn't he? Hold on. Immune to explosions? Can't target him. I think so. A 
Ooh, okay. Oh, God. Look at the difference. So this guy's will is 60. This guy's 120. Crazy. Um, is that worth our domination? Let me bring Angerbot in close. Oh, Rage Suit Panic. That'll we'll take that. Hey! <laughs> yep. Okay. Get Pool Mother to full. So pretty much guaranteed that we can take the Harrier if we want it. If I do this, I could move, do the domination for free, and then still have a shot. I'm looking to see if I can maybe do like an AoE, but not from any of these cover positions. This is not bad. Uh, the shield bearer, I think, in this scenario is actually better. It prevents him putting up the shields. You are mine. Pretty good chances still. Not as high as the other one, but if we get him, which it looks like we're not. not even close. <sighs> okay. Now, it's showing this as two charges. Do I just try it again now? I'm with you. Okay. Now, is that going to reveal another group? Maybe. Yes. Okay. Codex and Venators. Interesting. We got blue screens. Let's go. So maybe in this scenario, we don't go for the Supernova now. Lightning Strike on the Chrysalid. And let's see if we can get the Chrysalid kill here. 13 versus 7 to 8. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it like this. That gives him Untouchable. And another action so we can flame in there. Looks like it's only going to hit the Decurion. Which is fine. Uh, we do have Shredding on Angerbot. Okay. And then that's what reveals them. Very interesting. the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the Advent Network. We will need to move in with the Skulljack to initiate the process. I'm wondering if I should come up here and just snag that Harrier as well. Make it a free one. Okay, I'll go. Maybe we, we just don't worry about being too picky. Or, you know what? Maybe we just take the regular mind control, because it's probably going to die anyway. Right? Don't use our domination yet. There we go. And then hopefully the Codexes and the Venators fight that thing. And then she would have a shot on the Ballisterius if we... Granted an action. Oh yeah, we can't do that. So what's interesting is, 
if we apply Soul Merge first, we can use Mind Control. We can't use Domination. But if we're already Mind Controlled, then we cannot apply the Soul Merge. Which is very bizarre. I'm, on it. I'm very concerned about that Venator coming in with, like, Psionic feedback. Oh, yeah. There it is. This is going to be rough. Here it is. <laughs> okay. It's insane, man. Then we probably get Codex bubbled. Okay. Is he gonna re mind control it? Oh, disoriented. Okay. I think he was trying to mind control. Gone up for the high ground. I mean, you served a purpose. I guess this guy's just roaming. Okay, she has that vest, thank god. Um, but hold on a sec. We resupply Bumblebee. Bumblebee can probably kill this Venator. It should be a uh, a crit. We just have to make sure everyone moves out of here. And we have this one down here we have to kill as well. We'll start with this. from here. Only a 58. Uh, okay. That's an option. Take two 43s instead of one 58. Um... <laughs> Everyone's so low health. I gotta make sure we don't take... ...fire damage. Let's do this shield. Yeah, that's solid. I could obviously skulljack this codex. <laughs> and I might have to here. I think we'll resupply... Serenity. It's killing time. 
then look to get her out of here. I'm a little worried about the, the chrysalid. That's why I'm hesitant on where I'm going here. And then these guys will both explode, so I have to watch for that too. And then I'll basically have a pistol shot on something. Um, I'd have a pistol shot on the Venator here, 7 to 10, that armor pierces. We would need the max. Um, and then Serenity... Twelve to fourteen kills there. How am I gonna kill this one? That's the question. Cause we like have to. How do you not see that from here? How do you not see the Venator from there? That's sus. Okay. So I have a pistol shot there. That's less likely. Angerbot is not going to be running in there anytime soon. Let's look at this for right now. 88 with blue screens. 10 to 13. It's not bad. Eleven to fifteen. Pretty big range. We also have a soul merge available. And obviously heals. Now. Hmm. We also have teamwork here. One option is to phase walk. Somewhere over here. Maybe even this little corner. The question is, does that give a visual of the Venator? I would think... It has to. We know these would. But I feel like my range would be better from here. 76. Nice. Oh my god, okay, still hit. Oh, and it hit her too, holy crap. Oh, that AoE is just freaking massive. I don't even know if this will do anything. Ten to thirteen. I mean, okay, so if it does split, it's going to split really low. Oh, she got the full 10. Did you get hit again? Okay, good. Holy crap. Okay. <sighs> okay. So now... Now we need to heal pretty much everyone.
And I am looking at... How do we keep these guys relatively safe? We're full dangling the shield bearer. Um, he's panicked. That's going to end. Let's, um... Hmm, actually... Let's blind him. And this codex, I think we could afford to disorient. If we give an action to dynamite, doesn't see anything. Cool Mother doesn't see anything. She has the vest, which is going to slowly restore her health. Okay. Let's just overwatch. That's a big four burn there. Holy smokes. This guy's probably dust, but... So many codexes, holy smokes. Hang in there, buddy. Thank God, look at all that armor. Holy major damper. That's going to be problematic. He still lives, man. Impressive. One more shot, though. He gone. Okay, there go our shields as well. I imagine. I'm really hoping this guy doesn't have the range to come and mess with us, because... He could maybe kill. Okay. Okay. So, this is the ideal um, Skulljack target. The only issue is that we are so far away. Oh, actually, we can do it. So I think we have to. On those gates. Let's do an emergency aid heal here. On, so it looks like by doing the clarity of mind, we actually did get an extra... Oh, no, wait. Uh... Yeah, maybe we do get an extra Domination Charge if we Clarity of Mind right away. I remember there being something tricky about that. I'm really hoping that I can entice these guys all to come in close, and then I would be able to... kill with Supernova. Maybe I look at Panacea here. Seems doable. Heal allied by, uh, body and mind with psionic power. On, Let's see what kind of heal fight. it's like. Oh, that's solid. And it gave her an extra action, even. It looks like. 
Or like a movement action. Okay, so, um, couple of things. We have mind control here for the chrysalid if we want it. It's not great, but it's something. I kind of want to save Toaster for maybe an overdrive to try and deal with what's going to spawn here. I feel like since the Codex is injured, the health is going to be lower on the Avatar, but could be wrong. Um, I do need intel, actually. I'll even take the small cash. Or not. I don't... It's fine. Okay, let's see. Yeah, nice. Nice, 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 nice. So I need Toaster be all over this. Does anyone else have a visual of this? Hmm. Wait. Oh no! Did I heal, uh... Hold up. Did I heal myself instead of dynamite? Oh, that's, uh, not, that's not good. That is not great. Also don't recall what her PCS is. It might be that renewal. Okay. I think the safest thing, honestly, is just to take the, the mind control. Could blaster bomb this. Now, do they split as well? I think so, right? Oh no, it teleports to new locations. Okay, we kind of don't want that. So I think we're gonna we're gonna start with a shield bash here to disorient and see if that stops that from happening. Okay, that's a fantastic start. Okay. Uh, maybe it doesn't even get disoriented. Yep, doesn't. And that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Holy crap. Okay. So, uh... I'm looking if she's gonna have vision of, um, dynamite there, but she won't. Here she would. Not enough to do this, though. Come on! That is so frustrating. Okay, maybe we just blaster bomb it. This is such a good weapon, though. Like, look at this. Is that really how we want to use it? Do 9 to 10 damage. What's Bumblebee's shot? Only 28. Let's see if we can pop it and get it to move again. Oh, nice. Takes the poison. Oh, right back to toaster. Okay. You would think blue screen would be pretty good. Um, okay, hold on. Do we still have the mind control there? We have the bandage throw. Into a reload here, I think, now. Okay. 
And then toaster's damage... 13. It's just so much armor, that's... That's the reason I would want to use the other thing, but... Frick. Yeah, okay, Mental Fortress. And it's gonna regen. Now, it is poisoned, so it could take damage on the next turn. I don't think it's going to take three. And back here. Now hold up. <laughs> if I soul merge Pool Mother, Pool Mother would get, I'd be able to reload, and she can probably kill the avatar. But then the Chrysalid lives. It doesn't kill anyone, but will have poison. Do we have those anti-venom stims here? Yes, I do. So there's... Whoops, there's something. Or we reposition Bumblebee to, to do the same thing. But I think Pool Mother's gonna have better aim. Okay, so Pool Mother reloads. Soul Merge Pool Mother. Giving that extra action, the boosts. 89 here. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, okay. That is really, really bad. He's taking major burn damage. That's fine. Oh, frick, man. So they don't appear to be impacted by blue screens, then. Which means we should have taken the pistol shot. Oh, this could actually... That disabling the Avatar's weapon could be huge. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. No cover. That's good. Come on, Avatar. Do not do this to me. Nice hit. Nice hit. Don't get shot down. Okay. Oh, God. Mind control. And she got it, of course. Get out of my head! Okay, it's not the end of the world. But we need to relieve the mind control. Obviously. Um, I have no cover anywhere. I don't know if the Avatar blows up as well. <laughs> I need six damage. The pistol shot would do it. Through the armor. I have some cover here, it looks like.
Problem is, it's not a flank. God. I could come up here. Like, this whole section is there's just nothing, you know? Uh, she's at 93 into full cover. So maybe it would be similar from the opposite side. Doesn't look like there's cover here, but I'm going to believe it. Oh, look at all the enemies. Holy shit balls. Sarah back. We absolutely need to mind control something here. Uh, why is this note? Oh, she can't see the chrysalid. Okay. Um, actually, I think this is where we blaster bomb, right? Yeah, we would. Okay, hold up, hold up. Angerbot comes in to rage strike the egg. To get rid of some armor. We bring Bumblebee over here to give us targets. We, uh, <laughs> I guess this chrysalid probably just lives for right now. You know, maybe what we do here is uh, we damper field and try to mind control from down this side. We do have the EMP bombs as well. I can handle that. We'll take the full here. Let's just look at our options. So the Lancer is not bad. 89. EMP bomb could hit these two. It's not showing the egg having any effect. I don't know if the egg is I can't remember if it's immune to blue screens or not. Let me check something. I think it is. I don't think blue screens impact the egg. It's like one of the things we added immunity to. Let me in. Let's see if we can get it. That's a whiff. Come on. Like... <sighs> okay. Well. This hits the... Lancer, the Egg, the Codex, the Muton Destroyer. Can only bandage throw myself. What the hell? What is going on? What the frick? Why can't I move this? <sighs> okay. Let me move her and see. <laughs> I 
I mean... I can try to save and load this. I'm just worried that my saves aren't going to load. That's the thing. But let me try it. Okay. It worked. Uh, but let's see if my targeting works. It does. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is unfortunate that we had to do that. But here we are. Let's... Oh, there's a black ice, too. Okay. Trying to hit that... There we go. Trying to hit that Lancer. This hits five. I know the Codex will split, but it's going to be weak. Not having any black flames is kind of unfortunate here. Okay, he was down to one, actually, so that's fine. Now, Toaster... He has the extra action. Uh, hold on. So, he's got... Once per turn, get a non-movement action point refunded after killing an enemy with a turn-ending melee attack. And then he would get untouchable. But... Kind of wondering if we should supernova here. By supernova here... In theory, it kills... Uh, the Muton, the Lancer, both Lancers, and damages the Space Egg, in theory. The other alternative is trying to disorient the Egg, which works pretty nicely. Then we have a lot of people alive. I suppose I could blind with this. After rage striking. And then Bumblebee, I could come down here and take control of the Chrysalid just for something. Let's look at this for a sec. Chrysalid's gonna take damage from that thing. So that's actually that's actually pretty nice. Uh, the Hunter's not bad either. Assault Trooper isn't going to do as much damage. Yeah, maybe I take this guy. I don't even want him permanently. Let's do this. Chrysalid will take some damage. was uh, not the most effective thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that was not amazing. We could take a shot. What's over there? I feel like we're better coming back here. question is, is it this group I want to go for? I, I guess yes. Like, I should take out, at least try and damage the group that's the closest, you know? I 
I just wish there was a clearer indicator that I was actually hitting that space egg, but I have to be, right? He's taking up those four tiles. If I go here, a Lancer right in front of us, other Lancer, space egg, Muton. Do it. Oh, this guy's immune. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. That's big damage on the egg. Nice. He should serve as a pretty good target for the Ballasterius and the other guys. What the? Wait, so that isn't cover? What the f- what? Ah, oh, god, I knew that was gonna be a problem. Oh, she's dead. It was showing cover, but I know there was nothing there. But- <laughs> I mean, you guys saw. Oh my god. Wow. We do have a we do have a field medic out here. We have the triage card. But I don't think that's gonna be good. Wow, she dodged. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, dynamite. The hunter is doing work right now. Oh no, come on. Oh god. Not the trooper. Okay, she's she's immune, so that's like fine. Holy crap. So this is on cooldown now. Now, I don't know if we're going to get that back again or not. Who are we paired with? Angerbot. Maybe I race through here. Ah, oh, it's, it's just hard decisions here. My hunter does have, he's disoriented, so doesn't have a whole lot. This guy has Damper Field for another turn. Angerbot only has one action. I'm guessing that's from the quarantine. Grants aim and crit bonuses to attackers. Yeah, great. So maybe we hide her for now? Zone could be decent here.
Might have a better angle if I come to this side. She's got the kill zone, too. I just wish I had a way of healing her. The fact that Dynamite's alive is... <laughs> pretty nuts. We come here, we heal with Bumblebee. Then we grapple to here, I guess. If we can. Okay, that's solid. Now, in theory, uh, I could teleport here, but my my angles are going to be such where we don't really have a good reason to to do that, other than getting the heal, um, which maybe is good enough for now. But having the big AoE disorient here with a bunch of possible shots is pretty nice, too. Um... Suffer increased damage from psionic attacks. Who are we paired with? Anger bot. Let's bandage throw dynamite to get that going again. And we will also resupply dynamite's ammo. Actually, hold on. Do I want to resupply Bumblebee, maybe? I think, yes. She's got full cover for now. Ready to go. This damper field is problematic. But we have the major flank. Maybe we take our burst fire here. He is, um... Well, it says he's weaker to psionic attacks. I don't know if he gets this. Yeah, we don't have 100% to crit. Like, 100% there. Come on. Oh, sick. Okay, that helps... Quite a bit. That shuts down the damper as well. Um, the uh, the issue is so, so if I'm shooting from this middle one, I might be able to get the space egg on the on the left side, right? F uh, space egg and faceless. And then I have to hope that the others kind of move in. I don't know if I'm going to get the, the disorient off. If I want to keep the full cover, which I absolutely do. Another option is to come here. And see if... I could get the codex and the egg together. Might actually be a better chance.
And then I still have, like, you know, people can come into that kill zone, potentially. And then you are pretty much not going to hit anything. And you are going to sit here as well. Okay. Yeah, I guess full cover just doesn't mean anything these days. Perfect Cybomb. Double move. Full cover. Suppressed. Oh boy. Holy crap. I mean, she's landing. Damper, thank God. And now all the suppression's gone. We still have seven turns. I actually feel like if we can dispatch of this group, we have a chance. Okay, he's dead. Uh, we're gonna get... Oh, he's not dead. We're gonna get Toaster back next turn as well. Wow. My man lives still. Toaster's back, baby! Oh my god. Okay. I got... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. This... Yeah, this firewall or this... Um, whatever that's being applied to us is really rough. I almost feel like I need to take this, but, like... How many heals do I have left? I have two heals here. I could reposition Angerbot this way. Um... Frick. I feel like I need to take this shot. I could Thunderclap it for more damage. We're going to resupply here. Does Dynamite have Deadeye? Yeah, she does. I think we have to be braced for this. Yeah. And then we have to have both actions. Hold up. Is our hunter, what's his deal? Oh. He's about to get eaten up in here. Let me, uh, full dash him to full cover. If he survives, sweet. If not, well. Lightning reflexes. Didn't even know we had it. Okay. Okay. We do have the teamwork available there.
I would really like to EMP bomb these. How long does she have the damper field? It'll at least go through to the next turn, right? So that's pretty good, but it's not perfect. Uh, she has Solace, so the Abductor shouldn't be a problem. And then this guy, of course, is, is still a huge issue. Maybe we just reload into EMP Bomb here. So she's no longer trapped, but she's still incredibly weak. Um, if I stay here, the egg probably kills her. I'm suppressed to all hell. I could, uh, I could pull Angerbot and then just run Angerbot really far away for a sec. I don't see a world in which I don't take this, or do I? That guy's stunned. Oh, I have to take this. We'll apply the poison as well. Oh, no, it's going to be blue screen. That's fine. Okay, now, if I lightning strike, how much damage do we get on the abductor? Everything on the map is, that's active is active. This is nine. He's a little short. I do get the free action. Let's just start with this. So I could kill him with the shield bash, which then grants me an action point and untouchable where I could follow up with fire there. Could do it like that. I feel like that's probably good enough. <sighs> Space egg. Disoriented still. Ends next turn. Bumblebee, I'm going to have to move. Hmm. I'm really not sure, that, like, the best play here. Because this is, this is pretty good damage, I think. Like, I kind of have to take that. It's pretty solid. Um, but the only way that Angerbot is truly safe here... ...is if she gets pulled. I could go into full, but that's not a guarantee, especially with the Codex. But if I pull her to here and she runs way back, I feel like her chances improve significantly. Can't reach a bandage throw. Um, I guess one option... 
is we pull Bumblebee. Or sorry, we move Bumblebee here. But then I, I, I don't know where they're going to end up. That's the thing. I imagine if we pull now, she ends up here. I actually think inside there works fairly well. Unless, <laughs> unless the codex then, or unless the space egg then uh, like AOE shoots this area. Right, because if they do that, then we're in big trouble. Maybe the, maybe the door is safer, it's a little further away. Still out of vision. I'm worried that in this scenario, uh, the explosion hits us if we do kill it. I'm gonna put Angerbot here. Oh, that opened the door? Why? Why would it do that? God. That is freaking horrible. She's not going to take an overwatch shot because she has shadow step. If you say so. 13%. Okay, so the suppression still counts. Fair enough. her. Make sure we get the untouchable. Hostile threat destroyed. And then burn something. Faceless, purifier, destroyer, assault trooper. Maybe the Assault Trooper. Okay. I'm worried about Angerbot, man. That door opening really effed us. Uh, that could be good. That's the codex that would would have had eyes. Okay. My biggest concern is the is the uh, space egg now. Wait. I mean, I'll I'll take that, I guess. But wasn't that thing just stunned for two turns? Ballasterius is gonna shoot toaster. Oh, reload, beautiful. Okay, what are you gonna do to me? Oh, it's gatewaying inside. Untouchable, baby. Lucky Serenity didn't get hit there. Guys, I'm seeing a path here. I'm seeing a path. I'm encouraged. Oh my god. We've had some pretty big misses here from the enemy. That's another one. 
pretty big misses. Those are still like, oh no, don't want that. Okay, damper's gone. Now the egg, this is full on, you need to die. Go here for the best aim. Might be able to see Angerbot even. Nice. Get some healing. And then we're gonna Thunderclap. Solid. <laughs> We're a little short there. All right. We'll snag this into the shell. Good kill. Oh, nice. We got it. Okay. Wow. Okay. Look for another mind control, I guess. Um, does he have... Yeah, he has Retaliate. But he's 100. We've missed so many of these. I kind of feel like... Not great about it. And then I'm a little worried that if we blow up the purifier here, that it's going to hurt our mind control unit. Oh, but actually, is he immune to explosions if we do get him? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's positive. So we could kill the faceless to grant untouchable. But this guy is now the scary one. I kind of just want to go in for that shield bash anyway. Need a little damage there, possibly. Or I can bring her here and get a heal. I don't know. Let's do this. Let's guarantee a domination. Give in to me. I got five turns left still. Thank God. an untouchable and then I can burn the destroyer.
nice. Ooh, why do I hear codex noises? Hold on. Four active. Destroyer, trooper, Ballisterius. Uh, unless that's counting the purifier, maybe there is still a codex then. See if Serenity can pick this up. Okay. I want to say that Ballisterius is far enough away where he's like, he's not going to run in cl closer and shoot at Serenity, right? Or Willy. <laughs> uh, honestly, anything can happen. Let's grant the teamwork. Could do something like this. Maybe it's safer we just hunker. And then let's aid protocol here. Could have looked at our rocket, perhaps. Oh, there is one. Okay, fine. For some reason, I... Yeah, I lost track of that one. Go time. Uh, she's not going to trigger Overwatch. What's over there? Damn, that's a that's an unfortunate miss. Let me tell you. Okay. So I have an untouchable. Two spots. Let's take this. I'm gonna move dynamite up. Um, I guess we'll disruption field this. And actually, let's overdrive it as well. Holy, we did it! Can't believe that, considering how much damage we took straight at the beginning. That's crazy. But, having like one big enemy like the egg, that's, you know, at least it feels doable. When we ran into the double uh, sectopods a little while ago, like, that was not, that was not cool at all. Okay, I realize he's got retaliate, but I want to see if I can land this. Nice. Oh, there it is. Okay. He whiffed. I think we whiffed as well. You should only be able to retaliate once a turn. There we go. Sick. Arc cutter. Huh. 
or incendiary bomb. Incendiary bomb. Come on. Okay, now I do want Toaster to try, or sorry, uh, Angerbot. To be able to uh, hack, if possible. Should have healed again before we did that, but that's okay. Big. So, uh, it seems like <laughs> Clarity of Mind right at the beginning to get Domination extra charges. I don't know if, I don't think that's intentional, but, uh, like, how could I not use that? You know? Uh, can I see it from anywhere here? I can see it from there. And here, which is probably safer. Will do! On ready. Whatever you say! Toaster can get that next time. Uh, let's actually soul merge Angerbot here. We can just get the hack done. That's actually pretty good, considering our current predicament with Intel. Piece of cake. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Scanning. He should come running. We have probably three Overwatches. Oh, God. She got the max 10. There we go. Holy smokes, you guys. We did it. Now, I'm saying, if there were two eggs, or if there's two sectopods, or if there were two anything like that, like, that doesn't go down like this. It's crazy. Angerbot, 201, nice job out there. Bumblebee, 9 damage, good job. You kept everybody alive. Couple nice mind controls. Zaya, 72 damage. Not bad. Um... I don't think the benefits of this gun outweigh the, the the downsides of not being able to shoot twice. Right? The best thing is is having the kill zone uh, AoE suppression and having a bunch of bullets for it, but like I can get close enough with an expanded mag. Um if that repeater does actually trigger 5% of the time, then <laughs> maybe, you know, like, maybe that, maybe you get lucky and kill something massive. 
134 damage from Koenig. Yeah, insane. Coaster, 175. Man, I, I thought for sure we were losing Koenig there. <laughs> she should have been dead. She's standing right in the open. They missed like 375. She should be dead. Or at least went into bleed out. Right? Like, there's no way she should have survived that. I guess the way I'll, I'll justify it is that we missed some of those mind controls at high percentages. Whatever, whatever it takes to, you know, keep our spirits up. 28 days! Wow. Look at these wound times. Uh, now, nobody's in the in the infirmary right now, which is, you know, showing these as pretty aggressive. But. Okay, we got a Colonel Tech Specialist as well. Gain the ability to equip a heavy weapon regardless of armor worn. Heavy weapons gain plus one charge, but less damage. Okay. ABCs gain one initial charge and recharge one turn faster. And the shared cooldowns removed. That's really nice. Attempt a more difficult hack that can self-destruct or grant permanent control for the rest of the mission over a target. These are just so hard to actually use. Like, the, me being able to hack something is very unlikely. You know, it's like domination for robotics, but, you know, for hacking, I don't know. I'm going to take this. Extra charges of that stuff, I think, is pretty helpful. Zaya. Let's go weapons hot. With that gun, I guess weapons hot is pretty nice, too. Now, there's the Avatar Corpse. Ooh, Null Lance Gem. And more importantly, Black Ice Encryption. Okay. Avatar Autopsy. Delaying a hidden event. Killed an Avatar. There's a big breather for the Avatar uh, progress. Some intel. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so now... Let's go in here. Um... So how many engineers do I have right now? I got Corpal. Can't remove her. If I upgraded this... Power relay upgraded. So, we want someone in the infirmary. These guys are all <laughs> locked in. Damn. This is giving us resistance contacts, which we also need. Oof. Okay, well, it's this one. Oh, wait, hold on. These guys are showing as available. What the hell? Hold up. Get rid of that. Oh, I think after I did the lab, I never put them back into anything. That's why. Okay, so Gremlin into there. Gremlin into there. Uh, contacts, if I need it. 
Okay. So let's see these let's see these black ice rounds finally. One blue screen, one black ice. And a black ice skull jack. Interesting. Okay. Black ice rounds. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send Three days. when the project is complete. Okay. Olivier and Ezra. Do it. Fear of heights. Okay. It's not good. Whoa. The alien Didn't we just defeat here is yet another blow against the completion yeah, of okay. the Avatar. Yeah, okay. That was project. weird. Excellent work, Commander. Okay, so what maybe what happened is it just ticked to maximize or something and then brought us down. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're building a relay. So this is at 160 now. It's doubled. <laughs> it's doubled but halved. And uh Yeah, it's halved because of the hack. Right? Commander, we might have to do some cleaning, but we've still got room to grow here. We okay. should consider. And we do need contacts. Facilities. Uh Shen, I don't know if you can tell, but we literally cannot do that. You're you're actually delusional. Unfortunately. Setting course for sector one, the Arctic. I want to see what these black ice rounds do. Maybe that makes a huge difference for us, you know? We give those to Pool Mother, she's like black ice. It must be a blue, it's gotta be a blue screen buff. Right? Advent Rural Checkpoints. Uh, this is our income, isn't it? Rural Checkpoints? Yeah. Um, we can at least start attempting to remove that. I don't know where part two of the, of the alien cipher is. I'm pretty sure we did a covert action for that. He gives somebody aim. How long is this mission? Mm. Wolf's on a covert for ten. Might need Zwinzel. All right, you can have it. My followers will lead this action to victory. We'll start here for a small aim boost. <laughs> New assault to protect the device. 87 intel. Um. <laughs> oh, it is, it is tempting. Sectopod hunter. I just see, I see so much armor. Plus, like, protecting the device, they're, they're just gonna pound it. You know? They're absolutely gonna crush it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think we go for that. I think we get intel in safer ways. Uh, do we have a covert action going for intel? Yeah, we do here. So, yeah, that's with Clay. This is probably part two of the other one. Yeah. Neutralize field commander. Very hard to do. Uh, it is explosives. Sit rep. I'm looking at the enemies. Backburner, yes. Heavy mech, yes. Space egg, yeah. The Velus, scary. Sectopod hunter. Let's go 
what's with the hunt all the time? All the Venators. Those Venators are insane, by the way. Like, what the shit? I'm gonna let it go. Long live the resistance. Okay, these rounds carry a weaponized version of the Black Ice Protocol that Shen's developed. Upon delivery, the virus is capable of shutting down and causing severe internal damage to robotic and tech-reliant enemies. Oh, damn. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Infestation, nope. Uh, what are the bonuses? Aim. Uh... Okay, well... Those bullets could help here, maybe. Cool Mother's not available for 27 hours. So now I'm down to 80. Because it should be 40, but it's doubled by Cypher. It should be 40 because of that hack, right? Uh, so... Worst case scenario, it's adding two blocks of progress, I guess. I'm not sure, like, maybe there is another dark event that I'm not thinking of that could be scary. Avenger plotting new core. Let's go scan for intel now. I wonder if I... Did I... Maybe I accidentally skipped an infill for... Oh, hold on. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right on cue. Okay. So there's that one, and there's a new assault mission. Here. This is to delay Viper rounds. Which could be annoying for sure. Um... We should do the Cypher. Minor chance of messy insertion. Begins 20% tired and one soldier be 25% injured. Commander, it would appear the aliens have sent a particularly... Savage sit rep. ...of creatures into this area. It seems even Advent can barely control them. I would strongly advise caution. We get a resistance operative. Oh, and then this is the one where they have all the reinforcements and stuff. Okay, hold on a second. I want to make sure that I'm thinking about this correctly. So I'm going to send people to infiltrate. I do have to decide if these are worth going for. But I'm thinking they're not worth going for. Field commander is a high-risk mission all the time. Recovering the item here to delay viper rounds. I'd still have to fight it twice. Um, Enemy-wise, this doesn't look too bad, though. There's a space egg. Yes. Venator, ice purger, space egg. I mean... It's, a, it's an option. How long until this expires? Two days, 18. Okay, so Viper rounds could be kind of annoying long term. They already have stiletto rounds. It could mean that if we get shot with something that we're taking uh, extra damage every time. So maybe it is worth countering that. The problem is... Cool Mother's back in 17, and this expires in 16. And I would love to have her there for uh, those new rounds, but I can't make that happen. So that's... that's life. We have 
Zwinzel, Toaster. And we just have to take like our we just take our best, you know, and get it done. Setting course for Sector Eleven, West Africa. Now, when there's Venators on the map, do we just say, ah, forget it, don't take any Psionics? Like, that's probably the safest way. I'm gonna swap out this blue screen canister. Okay, let me come up with my squad, I'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. So I think I've got a uh, setup that will work for us. I'm feeling pretty confident after I equip all of our recent upgrades and look to sort of optimize uh, things. So uh, toaster, same build as last time, uh, but the acid canister here. Uh, Drac is coming out with the beam cannon. Uh, we've got the plasma shorty over here. Um, and this, I just bought this. And then the black ice round. So check this out. There's a little bit more description here. So it infects robotic and tech-reliant enemies with a virus, causing them to suffer additional damage over time, potentially shutting them down temporarily. Looks like a, a stun chance of 20. Um, the damage over time itself is nice. Infected units have their hack defense greatly reduced. So maybe that's a way that we can actually... Like, when we hit somebody with blue screens, I think it reduces it by five. I don't know what greatly means, but we'll see. And infected Black Ice Codex units will malfunction when attempting to teleport or shoot after being damaged. So I kind of feel like this might be the anti-Venator, uh, the anti-Codex type of thing. Um, but we'll have to try it out. Reactor 4 is coming out here with the med kit. I am bringing the Psyamp. We're going uh, Domination, Mind Control... Uh, Soul Merge and Panacea for the heal. Uh, he's going to take the Reaper. I feel like that's better than having it on a Marine, at least, because we can shoot twice. The Sonic Reaper description does say shooting ends the turn. So, yeah, good to know. We're going to go Warsuit here with a Blaster Launcher. Uh, Odin's coming out with the Shadow Lance. He's got the Superior Suppressor and Wildcat, so we're trying to focus on crits. Um, we're going to take the Talon rounds as well for crits, and hopefully that works out nicely for us. Uh, face off with the Dark Claw, ignoring armor is pretty solid. He's got that Banish, and he's got that Undermine. So attacks with your secondary weapon no longer require a kill to trigger Silent Killer, and will rupture the target. So if we're concealed, um, we, can, we can just shoot with the pistol, not worrying about killing it, rupture it, and then follow up the regular attack to maybe kill it. Seems pretty powerful. Um, Usually we're going to go Black Flames here. Uh, he's got Destructive Nature. He can equip heavy weapons regardless of armor worn. But I'm taking the Rage Armor because we get that free action. And, uh, you know, potential... I don't know if Mutons are even here. Ah, there's a couple, so maybe some Panic. And then a Blaster Launcher. And then lastly, we have Iggy with the uh, Viper Rounds. He's going to carry... I, uh, uh, what's the word? EMP bomb. And, uh, we're gonna armor him up. I've upgraded his rip jacks as well. I did buy a plasma lance, thinking that that was an upgrade to the shadow lance, but, uh, this is the top. The shadow lance is the best already. So now I have an extra sniper rifle. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how this works, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the other side, okay? Wish me luck. Bye for now. Oh, and I'll swap the PCS for uh, Musion here to give him some tankiness instead of dodge. And uh, we upgraded Drax's uh, perception to like one level higher as well, I think. I think it was an improvement. Let's see. Uh, yeah, advanced perception plus 13 aim. I think this one was like plus 16. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye.